this is called the moon of the falling leaves. Now, I don't know about you, but I have thought about it from time to time. Why is it some of our trees are green in the wintertime? That just, you know, it doesn't make sense to me, right? I thought, why are they green in the wintertime? And apparently, the trees, all the trees, were given uh, a task, a challenge, that they were to remain awake for seven days and seven nights. Well, day one and day two went okay. Uh, everybody, all the trees managed to stay awake. Come day three, hmm, the maple tree just couldn't take it anymore and went to sleep. Well, come day four, then the willow tree fell. Couldn't, it couldn't stay awake anymore, sound asleep. Well, day five and six, almost all the other trees, they too succumbed and went to sleep. On day seven, the only ones remaining awake were the cedar, the pine, and the spruce. They were the only trees awake. And because they managed to do that, they were given the reward of being green all the time. Now, in the fall, all the other trees that fell asleep, their leaves will fall to the ground. Their leaves are going to look like flowers that come up in the spring. The reds and the golds, oh, they're just going to look like flowers in the springtime. And now the leaves, when they start to go brown and they rustle when you walk on them, they're going back into the earth and they're going to nourish Mother Earth for another year's growth. And this is the journey, the journey of the Great Circle.